Oh, Romeo, Romeo, brave Mercutio is dead. Thy gallant spirit hath inspired the clouds, which to untimely me here to scorn the earth. This this black fate on many others doth depend. This but begins the woe, others must then. Here comes the fierce Tibble back again. Alive in triumph, and Mercutio slain. Away to heaven, respect of lenity, and fire thy fury be my conduct now. Now, Tybalt, take thy villain back again that thou gavest me for Mercutio's soul. It's but a little way above our heads. Stay for thine to keep him company. Either thou or I or both must join him. Thou wretched boy that did his conquer to me, shall with them hence. This shall determine that. Ah. Romeo, away, be gone. The citizens are up in Tybalt's vein. Stand not amazed, the prince will doom thee death thou art taken. Hence be gone, away. Oh, I am fortune's fool. Why dost thou stay? Which way ran he that killed Mercutio? Tybalt, that murder, which way ran he? There lies that Tybalt. Up, sir, go with me. I charge thee in the prince's name. Obey! Where are the vile beginners of this fray? O noble prince, I can discover all, the unlucky marriage of this fatal brawl. There lies a man, slain by young Romeo, that slew thy kinsman, brave Mercutio. Tybalt, my cousin, O my brother's child, O prince, O cousin, husband, O the blood is split, O my dear kinsman. Prince, as thou art true, for blood of ours, shed blood of Montague. O cousin, cousin. Ben Bolio, who began this bloody fray? There lies that Tybalt, slain by Romeo. Romeo, who spoke him fair, bade him to think how nice the quarrel was, and urged with all your high displeasure. All this uttered, with gentle breath, calm look, knees humbly bowed, could not take truce with the unruly spleen of Tybalt, deaf to peace, but that he tilts with piercing steel at brave Mercutio's breast, who, all his heart, turns deadly point to point, and with a martial scorn, with one hand beats cold death aside, and with the other sends it back at Tybalt, whose dexterity retorts it. Romeo, he cries aloud, hold friends, friends part, and swifter than his tongue, his agile arm rises to beat down their fatal points, and twigs them rushes, but between whose arm an envious thrust from Tybalt hits the life of stout Mercutio, and Tybalt fled. But by and by comes back to Romeo, who had been newly entertained revenge, and to it they go like lightning, for ere I could draw to part them, Tybalt lay dead, and as he fell, did Romeo turn and fly? This is the truth, or let Benvolio die. He is a kinsman to the Montague. Affection makes him false. He speaks not true. Some twenty of them fought in this black strife, and all those twenty could but kill one life. I beg for justice, which thou prince must give. Romeo slew Tybalt. Romeo must not live. Not Romeo, prince. He was Mercutio's friend. His fault concludes with the law should end. The life of Tybalt. And for that offense, Immediately we shall exile him hence. I have an interest in your hate's proceeding. My blood for your rude brawls doth lie of bleeding. But I will immerse you with so strong a fine. You all shall repent the loss of mine. I will be deaf to your pleading and excuses. No tears, no prayers shall purchase out your abuses. Therefore use none. Let Romeo hence with pace, else when he's found, that hour is his last. Bear hence this body, and attend our will. Mercy but murderers, pardoning those that kill.